Ladies and gentlemen, we are back out on our own two feet this morning. It's doing a little bit of pond hopping, hitting it from the bank. Uh, I'm gonna say it. We're going for a we're going for some spring bass today. Man, that's crazy. I haven't said spring for so long, but we are finally in what feels like the foothills of spring every day. We inch we inch a little bit closer and we're practically millimeters from it right now. But I'm not gonna yap about that too much because the water is still a little bit chilly for these fish. But it is approaching 60, so it's getting up there. But uh Today we're simpling it down a little bit, doing something I love to do, probably my favorite thing to do, and bank fish and pond fish. Go fish a bunch of suburban, urban bodies of water and search for some suburban, urban, green fish. It's, it's one of my favorite things to do on this channel. It's kind of how this channel, almost every fishing channel and almost every fisherman started out and that's why I love to do it because it appeals to a lot of you guys. Most of you guys are bank fishermen. I'm gonna do what you guys like to see. I'm gonna do what you guys like to do and I'm gonna bank fish. And I love it anyways. Uh, but yeah, we got one pond behind us right now. Hopefully about three or four ahead of us. And uh, we're going for for some big bass today. Big spring bass. All right, three rods, a backpack, and a, and a dream to get on some urban pond and a suburban pond spring fish. Let's make it happen. You know what? It's just, it's just beautiful. I mean, look at the grass. It's actually starting to turn green. Oh my God. It's a wonderful feeling, man. It is a wonderful feeling. We're going to go over here. We're gonna set a couple rods back down, actually. Usually I don't bring three. We're getting kind of nasty today. Man, that feels good to get back out. Just doing some pond fishing, you know? I feel the mood starting to swing. Now, although it feels real warm out here, it feels beautiful. The sun is just like, it feels a little bit closer to earth, <laughs> um, which it is, I guess. Wait, I don't know. You can probably correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not really a, a space guy. Um, I like fishing, but the water is still a little cold. Now it's definitely warmed up but it's not gonna be the warmest water in the world. So, as, as excited as we are right now, you know, a frog might not be the move. <laughs> just coming out here to these ponds, suburban and urban ponds, these just little mud holes in the, either on the side of the road or in the middle of a neighborhood, or in this case, in the middle of a big grassy field. And just finding big bass, small bass, sometimes just giant bass, you'd be, you'd be surprised at what you can find in these ponds is just, such a good rewarding feeling. Let's see if the bass are out. Okay. I don't know if you happen. Gotta hold, hold my excitement in for the fishing. Don't want to lose it all. Try to make a cast. Let's go smack him, peeps. Is that a fish? Yep, right under me. Yep, got him, got him. <laughs> there we go. We're on the board, baby. Probably the stupidest way you could get one. <laughs> and that's of course how we get him. Oh man, he choked it. All right, well, <laughs> what a way. First, first fish of spring 2024. You know, not the most uh, impressive, but we'll take it. Thank you, buddy. Caught him right under this freaking dock. All right, so we are gonna have to retie our hook back on. I'll be honest, we did have to cut the hook off inside that fish. He just ate it too deep. I let him eat it for too long. It was my fault. Um, I just didn't. I didn't want to lose the first fish of spring. You know, we gotta start strong. But if it makes you feel better, some study was done a couple of years back where they tested a bunch of catches. I don't know exactly how they did it, but the results were like 99.9% .9 of fish is actually 100%, but I'm gonna say 99.9 .9 in the off chance that I'm wrong. Percent of fish that had the hook cut off inside their, their stomach or mouth survived, and uh, only 10% survived, something like 10%, something low, survived if you had tried to pull the hook out. Hey, we are on the board, baby. That's all that matters. Now we just need about a uh, quadruple, at least, <laughs> at least quadruple that fish's size. Then we'll be talking.
something so satisfying about throwing a spinner ray on the edge of a, a dock or some structure. Don't know why. Yup, fish on. <laughs> no way. That's a good one too. Yo. <laughs> Holy bajoli. <laughs> That's a solid fish. And look at this, dude, look at this. This is very unlike me to say, but. This is why you always have a trailer hook on your spinnerbait. And to be quite frankly honest, it's the first time I've really thrown a trailer hook on my spinnerbait. That's why I said it's very unlike me to, like me to say, but look at that, dude. We would never cut that fish if that little tiny hook on the back was not there. And there you have it. Solid, I'm, I'm gonna say pushing three. We never carry a scale on us, but a good fish. I was a little hectic there. I literally make one castle on that dock. I'm like, that looks so good. Something about running a spinnerbait on the edge of structure. Beautiful timing. This guy, he knew, he heard us. He knew we had the, the GoPros and the cameras going. He smokes it. Beautiful spring fish. Nothing, nothing too crazy. We're upgrading, definitely. If we can get one even bigger than this, I'll be happy, but I'm gonna take that. That's a solid fish. All right, buddy. We'll get you right back where you belong. Get all big and big and chunky this spring. We need fish like you in here. That water's warm, dude. A little stylish, hair stylish, fish slime. It's good luck right there. Let's do it again. Dude, yes, yes. Love that, love it. Haven't got a spinnerbait bite in a hot second. Haven't got a power bait bite in a hot second. That feels great. Got the rods. Well, I'll be honest. Starting off pretty strong for the first spawn. Not, not, not amazing. Not the best fishing of my life. But hey, breaking out spring. We got one little one, one solid one. It makes me feel good, baby. All right, spot number two. Here we go. Let's make it happen. fish at every single pond. We're so far on track, but right now we're at pond number two. The second challenge we have to conquer. Drove about 15 minutes and just like that, we're at a, a whole new body of water with a whole new ecosystem under it and a whole different type of fish. Now, it's still bass, but all bass are different. You'd be surprised how, how, how different bass vary from body of water to body of water. But nonetheless, we're at spot number two. I'm not gonna yap too much. The wind is getting a little bit excited and uh, hopefully the fish are too. Let's make it happen. All right, why not? I mean, we're right here. We got a couple rods with us. Why not uh, fish off this thing? I'm gonna go over here because it's a little little tricky to cast from under there, but you got a jerk bait, a turd jerk bait. It's got two darn hooks on it. I don't know why, but it does. And we're just gonna have to work with it. Oh no, I'm liking the looks of this spot. Water's super, super clear, even though we got a huge rain in. There were a couple other fishermen when we pulled up, so we got a little competition. Just kidding. Nothing's competition for me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Bro, I'm literally twitching my jerk bait, literally right here at the end of the freaking end of the rod tip. It's really this close. Start reeling it back, and it has plans to go the other way. That is so dumb. Right off the bat, too. That's crazy. I feel good about this spot. Feeling good. Yep, there's a fish. Oh shoot, that's a good fish. Oh, I got him hooked bad. It's a, it's a little one, it ain't bad. <laughs> we'll take it though, baby. Let's find a way to freaking land him in this damn dock hut. Gazebo is the word, there we go. <laughs> what a stupid way to catch a fish, dude. We've been catching all sorts of stupid fish today. Jerk bait, baby. And look at that hook pops off on the turd jerk bait. Look at this thing. Straight up got two hooks on it. 
Don't ask why the third one's missing. Hey, not bad. We're continuing our goal. We will take it. We gotta fish at every, at every, say every pond, but out of, the, out of the two ponds we've fished so far, it's not a bad fish either. Cool fish, looks like a Florida fish. Really pretty. Long and dark, a little bit, a little bit skinny. I'll take him, dude, I'll take him. Little dinker, we'll get you back, buddy. Appreciate you much. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Got a little bit of water in my mouth. Hey, we'll take it. We are not skunked. We are not skunked at either either of the ponds we have fished today. That's a win in my books. Spring is a. Uh, I think it's officially here. Now let's get one that could eat that. Then we'll be talking. Yeah, it was such a dumb way to catch a fish. I'll, I'll, I'll show you exactly where I was standing because it's probably hard for you guys to tell. But we're on this sheltered dock hut gazebo. I think is what proper name for it is. And I stepped over this damn bench, leaning over this white fence and casting straight out like that. <laughs> So hook sets are very limited, but uh, we got it done. No, nope, we're good. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, ants in my pants, guys. Sorry. Thanks again, Ryan. See ya. All right. Well, just like that, spot number two is checked off the list. We wanted to make it quick. We don't have all day today. It's already about three o'clock and it gets dark around seven nowadays. So I'd like to hit at least two more spots. And we did meet, shout out to Ryan. We met first ever sub on the channel. Nice to meet you at the at this pond. So uh, a little special pond, but we're gonna move on. And he gave us some baits and he told us a spot. So big, big shout out to you, Ryan. Um, so we're gonna move on, go to spot number three. We gotta find out where the hell we're going actually. And uh, hopefully find some more fish, but we're completing our goal right now a fish at every pond pretty much two fish at every pond if we landed that one uh psych psychopathic fish but i don't know we'll see we're doing well though so far um spot number three though here we come all right let's check this spot out looks a little bit more on the uh the urban scheme of things but that could very well be a good thing, you know. We're not discriminating against any body of water today. Got a nice beach here, you know. Getting the sunny spring vibes going. Just like that. Love it. So on the day, we got a small fish, two small fish, a lost fish, and a medium-sized bass. If you're following me here, all I want is a big one. That's like four and a half, five, five plus. That's what we're going for right now. To be honest, I think we can make it happen here. As long as we can get over this little uh, canal crossing, we're good to go. This should be a high traffic area for some fish right here. Implemented accessible staircases for them. If their uh, food food uh, quantities deplete too much in their uh, their pond, they can always come out here and. Grab a couple spiders or squirrels if they get hungry. It's good thinking there. It's good thinking. Fish on, yep. Oh, good fish. Oh, giant, 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 giant. Oh my God. No way. No way. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. That's a monster. That is a monster. That is a monster. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God, dude. Holy crap. Let's get this guy down in the water. Make sure he's healthy. Oh, dude, there is no way that just happened. We were just, we were thinking about leaving this spot literally 10 minutes ago. Not even 10 minutes, like 10 seconds ago. Oh my God. Look at that brute, baby. I know we have a scale. I don't know exactly where it is. It's either in this backpack or in the car, but we might need to run and grab it. 
dude, look at that fish. Yes, dude, spinner bait. I, I said right when we got here, this looks like, I know it looks a little weird, but it looks like it could hold some really big fish. And the spinner bait is gonna catch them, if anything. We're gonna try and find a scale for this thing. I think we have one in the car. Cameraman Ben might need to run up and uh, make some use of himself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and grab the scale, because this is a, this big fish. I don't want to lose him. I do want to get a weight, but we do want to keep him healthy at the same time. But wow, that happened just like that. Official weight coming in at, this is in kilograms, so you got to double it and add a little bit. So it says two point one, it was one seven, it was one eight, now it's one seven, one eight kilograms. Man, that's crazy. Come out to these urban ponds, most of these people don't even know there's fish in them and you can pull out something like this. We'll get a couple shots and get them back. Oh, what a, what a, what a way to kick off spring though. That is, that's awesome. All right, buddy, we'll, we'll get you back safe. Fish, fish safety is number one priority for especially big berthas like this before spring. There she goes, she's ready, dude. She's ready. Back into that muddy water, she swims. I can still see her, but that water's, water's a little murky. Look at that, so two, 2.18 kilograms. We still gotta do the conversion, but look at that. Little muddy urban pond, bunch of random dogs, people walking around it, houses around it, and we pull a fish like that out of it. Wow, today's been killer. Small fish, medium fish, big fish, checked off the list. Yes. <laughs> How many pounds is 2.18 kilograms? The answer is 4.81 pounds. I was really hyping up that much. I haven't caught a big fish in way too long. <laughs> oh, I will take it. I'm not gonna, you heard me at the beginning of the video. I don't complain about fish and that was a one pounder. Hey, we'll take it. Dude, that fish just, maybe it didn't look as big, but it felt heavy. It felt heavy. Ah, yes, dude, I'm, I'm happy about that, man. Everything says we should keep fishing here, but right now it is, let us see, let us see. 5.01, we got about an hour and a half of good daylight left. After that, you guys can't really see. Um, and I do want to try one more location. All right, we'll end it just like that. One more location, let's grab some rods. Oh, feeling good, baby. Holy crap, look at the size of those turtles. Those things are monstrous. <laughs> oh my God. These turtles are, that was the biggest regular turtle I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, another huge switch up. We went from that urban spot to a way more suburban spot that's kind of deep in the woods. And this is the spot that the subscriber we met at the second pond recommended to us. So it looks good. It looks like a good spot to finish off this video. Um, we need one more fish to complete our goal. I don't care how big it is. We got our five pounder, four, four, eight, one, whatever. I'll take a big one, obviously, but uh, one fish. And then we gotta fish at every pond today. That's a success. We're gonna keep our eye up shallow too, cause it's warmed up. It's about 80 degrees right now. I don't know why, I still, why I'm still wearing the sweatshirt. It is so hot. All right, let's find some fish. It should be interesting. Cool looking pond. Hopefully there's some big bass. There's big turtles, we, we found that out. Let's, let's see if there's big bass. I feel like this should be the best spot in the pond right here. Shade that looks a little deeper. Tons of trees. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh. That was one right there. Damn it. Called it, dude. I freaking called it. He took it ever so slightly. I just felt tension. I was waiting for it to move. It started moving to the left. I was like, alright, here we go. Well, we were this close to completing our goal. Golly. Fish four spots today. Got fish in every single one, except for the fourth one. That's fine though, that's, that's a good way to kick off spring. We got literally a fish in every pond, but that last one, which we only fished for about an hour, so really didn't fish it to its full potential, but um, we got a four, four or five pounder today, and uh, two, a couple of small ones, but a uh, good day overall.
Spring is here, I think it's safe to say. Spring is here. All right, I'll see you on the next one. That was fun. Thanks for tagging along, and uh, peace out. Damn. Got a camera that time. You really did.